Righto, solar people. So today I'm doing a little video on how to join solar cables. So there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Um, all these here are connectors for connecting cables of different types in different ways. Okay, we've got lugs, <coughs> we've got crimpers, we've got terminal strips, connectors. Don't know what that's called, but that squashes down of it. Right, we've got tape. We are not going to use any of them, okay? Because the only proper way to join a solar cable is using an MC4, also known as a multi contact 4. Uh, why the 4? Well, because this is for 4 millimeter square cable, okay, which is what I've got here. So, this is a piece of solar cable, right? It's very tough. Um, it is, I think it's exactly the same as what we call an XLPE, uh, which is the same as what they use for overhead service lines here in Australia. If you've still got power connected to your house by overhead, um, I don't know the exact details, but it's pretty much the same as that. It's double insulated, it's four millimeter squared cable, it's copper cable that is uh, silver tinned. I think I've got that right, pretty sure. Um, but it's definitely four millimeter square cable okay and it's specifically for solar all right now how we're going to join it is using the mc4 connector now if you're using six millimeter cable you'd have to use an mc6 connector why do we use these types of connectors to join solar cables well solar cable joint joins are in a um, obviously a very harsh environment um, so they need to be a specific type of connector which gives you uh, a good contact and also a weatherproof uh, junction as well so this type of um, connector will offer strength so that the junk joint can't be pulled apart um, and it will also offer um, protection from moisture ingress okay the way it does that is you've got a seal here okay a gland a compression gland that must be tightened up and so that's the female side on the male side we've got a little o-ring here so once they're plugged together like that they're locked in tight and they're also weatherproof there's no water going to get in that all right um if you're doing just a single solar panel for a bloody light or something in a camp scenario then yeah for sure you could use something like that but any more than one cable uh sorry one solar panel um especially with rooftop solar you must use these type of mc4 connectors and in australia we have to use the same brand through the whole installation so there's no mixing up brands because if you mix up brands quite often sometimes they don't get the proper connection and uh, they won't be a snug fit like that and you'll get a high resistance join and possibly a burnt out connector um, and we're still a fire okay so I'm going to turn this little bit of cable into a fly lead um, now you can strip the cable there using a pair of pliers which is what most sparkies do to do that we simply squash squash so you see I've put a couple of indents there Grab the cable like that in your fingers and push it off with your thumb. Right. Um, for me that's actually becoming a bit painful because I've been doing it for years. I'm getting pretty sore thumbs these days. Um, so I've actually moved away from using pliers and that's probably not a bad thing because <clears throat> when using pliers you can also damage the conductors. You can sometimes end up with strands breaking off and if they don't break off sometimes you can squash them a bit and then again you end up with a high resistance sure but, but I've actually done that pretty well um, so I'm actually going to keep that but what I would normally use these days is a proper pair of uh, cable strippers you can see you've got your different sizes on there um, that makes it a lot easier you simply just squeeze it like that and um, that strips the cable for me all right so once we've got that another really important tool that you must use and I'll tell you why is the MC4 crimpers now if you can see in the die on the crimper there's these two little bits that hook in like that and what they do is this bit here on the connector there's two little tabs there they'll bend back in on themselves 
like that and they'll bite into the cable All right, so you end up with a really good um, connection that's not going to deteriorate get hot possibly cause a fire so I place that in there like that the stripped bit of cable we poke in the other end All right, so that's in there like that and then you squeeze it down you can hear this is a ratchet type of connector as I'm squeezing it down okay and it's important to squeeze it all the way down as hard as you can nice and tight okay and then release it and you can see there that there's a perfect crimp both those tabs have been pushed down on each other and that is super strong that is not coming off boys you cannot use a pair of pliers to do that okay you can't use that to crimp that it just doesn't work all right a it's just going to pull straight off because you've stuffed it up and b again you're going to end up with a high resistance join which can possibly escalate to a burnt out connector and if you get called back because you were slack and did that then that's going to be a, a pain in the ass all right once you've got that done then you just slide on the female part in this instance all right you heard a little click there make sure it's in properly all right once that's in tighten up that gland and then what you must do is check that that won't spin on the cable all right if that spins on the cable and you haven't tightened that gland enough and you're going to get water ingress through there all right so that's our male and a female they just plug in together like that that's a perfect joint i can pull that as hard as i want there is no way that's coming apart there's no way there's any water getting in it's nice and tight that is going to stay in service for years and years and years okay to pull them apart just push those tabs in there okay now these are available to, to buy online um, or from electrical wholesalers that deal with solar equipment okay apprentices don't stuff them up all right don't get it wrong it's always a male and a female these are expensive so don't stuff them up righto cheers